Uh, since we've been here, we've had lots of people stopping and taking pictures, so it certainly is one that you can interact with. Back to you, Riz. Alice, thanks very much indeed. Well, if you thought that was impressive, take a look at this. A view of Earth from outer space, and this is London, taken from the International Space Station. So hard to believe then, thanks to engineers in Surrey, such images could soon be captured using a mobile phone. Mike Ramsden can explain. The modern smartphone is so much more than just a phone. You can take video, you can play games, and it'll survive life at the bottom of a handbag or in a pocket full of keys and change. But can it cope with one of the harshest tests for any piece of technology? Life in space. Dr. Vyos Lapas at the University of Surrey Space Centre is pretty confident smartphones can make the big leap from street level to space. They'll do it in this satellite, no bigger than a loaf of bread. Just add smartphone. The University of Surrey and SSTL are in the forefront of uh, building, designing and launching small satellites for Earth observation, navigation, communications. So uh, we have enabled, through this technology, access to space to universities, new businesses, uh, countries that never had access to space, in or which uh, then now can enjoy the benefits of space. Since the first satellites went into orbit, space technology has come a long way. This way, one shopping scout can keep her friends in touch with what's on sale. But then, mobile phone technology has moved at an incredible pace as well. The chips inside them are so clever and need such small amounts of power, they're perfect for space, where lightness means costs are reduced substantially. Well, our satellites at Surrey satellites are considered small satellites, and they might be in the order of five to 50 million pounds for a satellite. Something like this, uh, the satellite itself will be on the order of 50K. Um, the cost of the launch, depending on how we negotiate the launch, could be anything from a very small number up to maybe a two, couple of hundred K. No one's expecting the phone's camera to produce anything as detailed as this. But after launch in autumn, it's expected we'll see the first pictures from a mobile phone in space. Mike Ramsden, BBC London News.